Well, hey there, guys. It's 2021 and uh, first toy hunt of the year. I got invited by Stockman's Collection to head out to see what he got over in his double bins, and uh, we're just checking to see if there's anything I'm still missing for my collection. As you can see, I'm surrounded by boxes, so we're gonna dig in gonna take you along hopefully I pick out the right stuff let's let's dig around for some toys cuz crap it's been so long already found a couple of turtles he was willing to part with so I got a couple of these two turtles so we have pretty much just put aside Dask and Kayla two of the neutrinos uh, of the cartoon line uh, the only thing if you were to find this and you hadn't seen any of those cartoons where they were featured in would you still recognize these toys as being turtle toys honestly I'm, I'm not sure about that if you don't know about these basically uh, in the old cartoon you had Krang the 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 alien warlord that came from Dimension X but you also had the hot rotting teenagers from Dimension X so these were featured a couple times in the cartoons and uh, for the tune line they decided to put out all of them um, there's still one missing over here but uh, I hope to be adding all of those so I'm not really looking for J. Joe but you never know what you're gonna find unless you you know take a little look inside obviously and we got some Masters of the Universe stuff right here. It's supposed to be some commons, but I'm still missing some commons, so I can always add to that. So let's see what we got in here. That's that's not so common. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ooh, I want that one. You look pretty. <laughs> what are these? These are the uh, these are the knockoffs for dino saucers. So, I'm definitely bringing you guys along because oh, and it definitely feels great just digging in box after box. Found a Star Wars figure didn't have yet. Found a food fighter which I don't see a lot. I got a variant Toka. I got a Ghostbusters ghost that has a cool action. And I'm taking home one of the He-Man New Adventures optic figures. I always wondered if like Mattel took a little bit of uh, inspiration from the Boglins to, to have like the eye movement for this one over here. So you know how I feel about bootlegs and knockoff toys and I think Dino Saucers is the exception to the rule where you'll actually be able to find the knockoffs a lot easier than the real deal that came out uh, because well whilst most of them were planned to be released in the US uh, only like Latin America got the actual Dino Saucers. So these are Smaller knockoffs, solid plastic, one point of articulation, which is moving the head around. You have the, the buttons to dino ball with. Let me tell you, it feels great to be back over at Stockman's collection. His toy room is insane. So, you know, if there's a ton of toys, there's got to be, I mean, a couple of boxes of doubles at least around here. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe, uh... Don't have, but he's broken. So there's streaks. One of the things he also had a double of was on top there, and it's actually this bull T-Rex from Lost World, second Jurassic Park movie. He always asks this thing with the tail where it's bent and you can't really pose the legs too too well but his 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 what is it called dino sounds 
electronic thing working. So basically you gotta press them somewhere over here. <laughs> and sometimes, like if you have the right touch, it'll, it'll, it'll make sounds. That doesn't that just sound real? Just like the real deal. Nobody knows what a dinosaur sounds like, but <laughs> it's it, it's got to be pretty close, right? Why, why does it stop working? <laughs> oh, there we go. So he, he's not really plenty available in Europe. That's why uh, I'm definitely considering taking this one along. Uh, his stomach also opens up like one of those tauntauns from Star Wars. It'll actually come with uh, this. Is, is it the girl? No, it's a dude. Okay with uh, this extra little thing you can actually have him swallow it and it'll end up in there and then you can take him out once again so uh, that's cool so it makes him kind of complete there's actually a complete one right over there so there we got one that's in the box he's facing the wrong way but uh well they're still uh you know he's still <laughs> Uh, putting everything together uh, as he as he wants it. Oh, uh, in this box right here, got some aliens, Kenner aliens in here. Um, ooh, a troll. I don't have this. What is it? Troll warrior battle troll. Don't have this one yet. So, going on the maybe pile. Yeah. Ooh, VR troopers. We used to watch that show back in the day. VR troopers. When when you could watch Power Rangers. Why would you? watch VR Troopers um, or did you maybe watch what was it called Beverly Hills Tattoo Ninjas or, or something like that weird weird there were so many weird Power Rangers knockoff uh, TV shows or you know rip off TV shows back in the day it's insane Z-Bots I like some Z-Bots I recently rediscovered Z-Bots, and uh, there's a little baggie right here with some of them in. Then you never know what you're gonna find at the bottom of these boxes. A toy line made out of tiny robots. I don't remember, like, where, what, what, who was the maker again? It was part of Micro Machines Galoop made them, and I, 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 I just never see them, so, when I found like a baggie with three of them in there, I knew I had to take these home just to have, you know, a sample of this Micro Machines Z-Bots toy line. And that's a weird looking Luke Skywalker. Okay guys, this is probably the best find of the day. You always gotta remember to look up, cause <laughs> we found the color variant of, what is it called? The Ninja Turtle Grappler, but uh, it was actually released before that as the Rats, something called Rats. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll have to look it up and really explain it to you guys. But it's also called the Grappler, so uh, by Tomy Thailand. Uh, so it's a color variant of the actual Grappler that was reused for the Turtles Playmates toy line, and it's pretty cool that he had this just lying around and wanting to part with it. So gonna pop it on the maybe pile. Gonna, gonna see if we can take this home. So when this, when he pointed this thing out, I was like, is it for sale? Is it something you wanna keep? And uh, he said, no, it, it's all for sale. So right away I was like, okay, um, I'm gonna take this home. Yeah. This is definitely an audience. It's cool to see uh, the exact same toy, just with different uh, colors, honestly. And yeah, you know you got a toy collector friend when they allow you to go through all of their accessories, their extra accessories. Every toy collector probably has like a box of, you know, weapons that you keep because what you want to do always is keep extra weapons and whenever you find a loose figure, you're gonna be able to complete it. But no, Stockman, he was like, if there's anything in there you need, let me know and we'll see if we can work this out. And uh, yeah, I got like so many cool things. I got uh, I got the remaining pieces for my sewer surf and Mike. Got something for Muckman. I got like the companion dock for military wrath. I got Toka's little skull bat, which still has that little thing on there. So that's obviously always missing. So thank you so much for allowing me to go through that extra accessories bin. It's, it's, it, this, this, you know, helps you out so much. 
<laughs> just getting accessories instead of having to buy complete uh, loose toys uh, to upgrade. <laughs> Do you know the turtles went to the moon? Uh, this is a blast from the past. Dinosaurs. We didn't watch that back in the day. Talk to mama. And here he is. So I'm putting together my maybe pile and uh, he starts flipping through some boxes with carded TMNT figures. And I know like every time I see Carded figures, I just think I have to grab one, take it home, and you know, in a couple years, I'll have a pretty okay collection of card figures. And this time, I had my eyes set on this Sewer Samurai Leo. Um, part of, well, what I call like the disguise line, where you also had, you know, Space Cadet Raph, Undercover Dawn, and Mikey the Sewer Surfer. Got one dent in the card, but overall, it's still cool. And this one came from hills apparently for three for three dollars and 97 cents i wish we could all go back to those days when it was like cheap to get these figures so you definitely had to save the best for last because at the end it was like do you have any toxic crusaders on card he brought them over and now i'm having to perch what i put away first and uh i think i'm gonna have to get all of these right here uh he's still thinking about what, what the price should be but um I, I think i'm gonna have to be leaving with those because that's something i really want okay guys so we're done hunting today this is all the stuff that i and picking up I will show it all to you in detail when I'm back in the toy room and uh, when I get a chance to really look at all this stuff. I also had set aside the big uh, Jurassic Park Lost World Bull T-Rex but then I asked him one question which would turn everything completely around for me. I asked him so you don't have any more loose Toxic Crusaders do you have some on card? And he starts to bring out carded Toxic Crusaders. Uh, I'm gonna have to be walking home with these, honestly. <laughs> I, I need these, I need these. So that's why I didn't bring home the Lost World. I, I am on a budget and I don't wanna spend everything. So I did manage to take this little bit of nostalgia back home with me. And uh, I got four of these Toxic Crusaders on card. I got Dr. Killamoff, I have Bonehead right here. Then we have No Zone and Major Disaster. This was one of my favorites back in the day to play with. A buddy of mine had him. I didn't have him, but uh, I did play with this guy a lot. And uh, just, you know, the toxic glow in the dark splatter stuff on these guys and the extra uh, glow in the dark accessory that you would get is so amazing. I love the card art as well on these guys and you know I'm just beyond psyched that I, I, I finally got to add these to the collection. I'm definitely going to be looking out for more. So that was definitely a very cool way to end my short trip over to Stockman's Collections uh, toy room that day. <laughs> So yeah guys, that was pretty much it. I want to thank you so much for watching this little hunt video. I hope to do more. I hope to involve some more people in it so we can have some more banter going on during the hunt thing. If you want more vintage toy related videos, you can definitely subscribe to the channel. And if you want to do more, you can always check out my Patreon page and maybe support me on there as well. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a comment down below of which piece in there I should have picked up or what your favorite thing is that I picked up today. And uh, I will see you in the next video. See you later, guys. Bye.